Hey my friend, could you please deploy my machine learning model? You just need to click on approve and then boom, live in production. I'm pretty sure you know how to deploy a machine learning model, then why don't you do it by yourself? Oh, I'm not going to do that because deploying this model, for deploying this model actually I need to drop the current model which is live in production. And this model replacement process is gonna take some time and causing some disruption for the end user. And also that can cause them to be unhappy and causing some expenses. So you do it. I'm not going to do that. Don't worry. You don't need to do all the process. You just need to roll it out, my friend. What, what do you mean? I mean, for deploying your new model, you don't need to totally drop the current model, which is live in production. You just need to do rollout deployment or green blue deployment, which means you can gradually allocate the traffic from your current model to the newly deployed model with no disruption for the end user. Dynamic traffic allocation. Ooh. Then do it in Azure Machine Learning. Okay, you also want to join us? Then let's go. Hello everyone, this is MG and welcome to this video which contains information about how you can be hands-on in deploying your model within a rollout or green-blue deployment process which helps you to replace your currently deployed model with a new one through dynamically allocate the traffic and gradually do allocation of the traffic to the new model which cause no disruption for the end user and you can deploy your new model and replace it with the previous one safely using Azure Machine Learning. Let's check it out. All right, here's my Azure Machine Learning workspace. That's the place I previously deployed a model and now I'm going to see how can I come up with deploying my new model through blue, green or rollout deployment, which means I want to gradually allocate the traffic from the end user demands for prediction from the current model to the new model. So where did I deploy this model? If I go to the endpoint section, you know that we have manage endpoint as a place that I can utilize to deploy my models. So what is manage endpoints? Basically, you can deploy your models in a real-time manner that will give you back a server that is listening 24-7 to reply for any request to do the prediction. And the compute that is creating this managed endpoint is actually a cluster. For managed endpoint, that cluster is Azure Machine Learning cluster. But you can also have Kubernetes clusters if you want to deploy your model on Kubernetes. But here I'm using, I have used managed endpoints, which is a real-time endpoint and is actually deployed over an Azure Machine Learning cluster. So I'm not, willing to com I'm not dealing with the complexities of Kubernetes, um, going through the deployment process, so on and so forth. And it's pretty simple. If you want to know how you deploy a model over managed endpoint for real time, you can of course do it through CLI, you can do it from Python SDK, but I want to show it from the UI first to make it easier to understand. Here, for example, I have regression model, a scikit-learn regression model that I have registered before. I trained it. That's for predicting diabetes. And let's say I want to deploy this over a real-time endpoint, manage endpoint. If you click on deploy, you see that there's something called deploy to real-time endpoint. And if I click on that, there's a wizard. It will ask me, okay, what's your model? What is the deployment configuration? What is the score.py? How do you do prediction when you deploy the model? The environment, the P packages, here's the compute I want to, let's say, deploy it over a machine learning cluster with, let's say, two or three instances. And the traffic allocation, and done. So we have done this before. And then here would be what I see after the deployment. So I go to the endpoints, you will see that, well, your endpoint is created. That's the name I chose, my endpoint. And we can see actually the type here it is managed, so it's over Azure Machine Learning Cluster on backend. I click on it, and you can see I named this as blue when I was deploying this, 
And because I just have one version of the model deployed, so 100% of the traffic is going through its deployment. So what does that mean? If anyone right now want to do prediction through using the REST endpoint of this deploy model, 100% of all those requests go to this current deployment and the model that I call it blue and does the prediction based on the score.py that I specified when I was deploying. And this is actually the, the compute that I have deployed the model in with, three, with the cluster with the three counts. So now what I'm gonna do, now I want to deploy the new model. Let's say there's a new pickle file that I have trained with a bit of different score.py code. And I want to have it as the new version and I call it green. That's, that's why it's usually called blue green deployment. And I want to specify 10% of the traffic go to the green and then 90% of that go to blue. So I want to gradually change the traffic to the new version. So again, I'm gonna do that from the UI for now, but also that's certainly doable through the code using CLI, and I can show you actually the CLI and then even Python code SDK. So I click on add deployment over this deployment. So that's the deployment name, this is manage, it's not Kubernetes, that's key-based authentication, it can be token. I click on next. This is the new model that I'm gonna deploy and I wanna call it green. So I select that. This is the list of the models that I have registered in Azure ML. I click on next. Deployment name, this one I call it green. For example, this is the timeout scoring. We can enable application insights. You can give it a tax. We keep it as is for now. Next. Here's a place I can specify what is my score.py. I already actually have it before in my um, PC and I will show you what is at a score.py. Here we go. I just have it as a text here to show you. So basically I have two functions in score.py, just init and run. The init one is the one that actually just load the model and make it global so the second function can access to this model that is loaded here. And when I load the model, I'll say that, hey, this is the, the input data that someone actually requested through URL call and load it as JSON, oops, convert it to NumPy. And then when, with the model that you loaded from here, do the prediction with the given data when someone calling this API and then return the results as list. That's it. So I, this is my score.py and the dependencies. I can have a YAML file describing the dependencies and pip packages needed for executing this prediction. But also I can select the curated environment here. I'm using scikit-learn package. So there's already a ready image for scikit-learn. There you go. If I expand it, you'll see that this is the name of this image that has scikit-learn plus some Azure MLP packages ready for you. You can leverage it. So I click on next. Let's say I want to go with this machine, two core, four gigabyte instance core three for deploying this new model. And this is the fun part. Remember last time that I showed you this deployment, we just had the blue and 100% of the traffic was going to blue. And now I'm deploying this new model. So I want to give, let's say 10% of the traffic when someone called this deployment for prediction i want to have a 10 person go to this new model and 90 person to the previous one and then i gradually without causing any disruption what i can do i'll gradually decrease this blue to zero and increase the green one to 100 percent what does that mean it means that my first model is now deprecated no one is using that and everyone is using the new version green so you are not going to do that from the, the, the first shot immediately because I'm not sure if it's going to be a good model. I, I'm going to make sure I still have my first model 90% of the time. And let's keep it as 10, but then you can update it. Click on next. Just have a review of what we have done and create. That's it. So it's going to take a while to update the deployment that we have done here to actually add this green deployment on the top of the blue deployment that we had for having a new version. 
be just 10% right now, but then we will dynamically change it to 100% and this one to 0% later. So let's wait for a while and we'll see what happens. So meanwhile, it's going to take time. What I can show you is how you can do this through Azure CLI, through code. Why through code? Because when we go through MLOps, what we're going to do, we want to actually make sure you can see this deployment is happening. So what we're going to do, we're going to make sure we can do this automatically through actually CI CD pipelines and MLOps and making sure that when we are deploying the new model through code, we know that how to create this green deployment on the top of the blue deployment. So then how we can code this again, one way to code is using Azure CLI. You can have Azure CLI code execution through your CI CD DevOps pipelines. And let me show you quickly how we can do it. So here's the CLI code. What you can do, you can first set, you have to have Azure CLI installed, definitely. And then you say that, hey, this is the subscription that I have my Azure Machine Workspace. You can put your subscription here. And here's the workspace that I have my Azure Machine Learning deployed. And here is the, sorry, this is the resource group that I have my Azure Machine Learning uh, deployed. And here's the Azure Machine Learning Workspace name that I specify here. For example, mine is demo AML01. It will go to here. And then with setting this configuration, then you want to say that I have a new deployment called green on the top of a blue deployment that I had before. So what, which deployment you're talking about? Well, this is my deployment and this is the name. Remember here you can see in point, this is my endpoint name. It can be MG test demo, whatever, just the name. You have to make sure you're setting the same name that you have specified for your blue before. Then there's actually a GitHub example of a score.py. There's a model there. You can use it. There's a configuration YAML file. You can use them to deploy your model if you want to test it. If you don't have yours, that's a good re reference. So let me open that to show you actually. Let's go. All right. And I'll add this to the video description so you can leverage it. If I click on CLI and then you'll see that there is an endpoint example here. We are dealing with online managed endpoints, so we should go to the manage one. And then you go, there's a sample here. That's the green deployment we're gonna do. So you want to do green deployment, you actually need this YAML file and you have to create yours for your own projects. Why? Because in CLI code, I'm cloning this repository because I want to use this to deploy. I don't have any examples, so I'm using Azure ML examples. And I'll say that, well, make sure you have the blue deployed first. So in my online managed endpoints, show me that my endpoint has blue already deployed with 100% traffic, which was there, we checked that with the UI. So I'm checking here again with CLI. And then if it's there, then now create the green version of that for the same endpoint. And if you wanna create a new deployment, I know that you're looking for a deployment YAML file, so it's here. This is exactly where we are. That's here, I'm referring to this. Let's check it out, what is this? So this is specifying a schema for this YAML file. This is a green deployment. Over my endpoint deployment, you need model. Remember, we did this in the UI. We specified the model, so the model is also inside this GitHub repo. This path is actually referring to this GitHub repo. And for coding configuration, we need score.py. The environment is a YAML file conda. The pip packages are there, and that's the image that we're gonna use. It's an Azure ML image coming from Microsoft Container Registry. And remember, we chose a compute type when we're deploying using UI. We can do it here. We had the instant count. We can do it here too. This is exactly what I did in the UI and when we clicked on deploy. So we're just doing that through a YAML file. Let's see what is next. Then if you run this qu query, traffic query, it will show you that, hey, you have now, for example, 100% this, 0% going to this. I mean the traffic or vice versa. You can even use this sample request from coming from this repository, which is a JSON file to make sure that your model can do the prediction. And then that's the time you want to change the traffic from green to blue to this newly deployed green. 
So using this AZML co code, you can say that, hey, now you have deployed the green, perfect. Allocate 10% of the traffic there. This is exactly what we did in the UI. And then change it to 100% and totally drop the previous one. I don't want anyone to access this. And that's it. You can even use this one to delete if you want to just test it. So technically, you can use these codes to automate the process and leverage it through your CI CD pipelines. But I just wanted to make sure I'm showing you from the UI first to make sure that is understandable what we're going to do and then showing you through the CLI and you can use even SDK to do so. So before we wrap up the video, let's check what happened to that green deployment when we did through the UI. If I go to the endpoints, that's my endpoint. There you go. Now I have blue 90% and green, which is the new one, has 10% of, of the traffic. And that's it. That's all. We really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget your comments are always welcome. Hey MG, here's the third model working much better than the other two. Could you please deploy it? We just talked about rollout deployment then do it. No, 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 listen. I still do remember when I was using your credit card for this Azure subscription and you saw the bill in my Azure workspace, you were pretty mad. So deploying this, there's just in case I, I'm doing something more. Okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'll do it for Thank you. Thank you, sir. And don't forget to tell them, see you later. See you later. Do it.